What's going on guys? Welcome to another brand new video. Today we are playing Darwin Project. Uh, if you guys don't know, and again this is a video towards new players who don't really know what Darwin Project is. Uh, if you are a, a subscriber, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But I want to explain to people who don't know what this game is and kind of give a little background. So this game is a battle royale it is 10 players instead of the usual 100 that you get from like PUBG or or Fortnite or so on and so forth with the other battle royales that are out this year um, on top of that instead of guns you get an axe and a bow and arrow there is a guy up there I was trying to talk but I guess we're gonna have to show you guys a little demonstration of how things work Let's go ahead and see where he is. You can also track people. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to actually play this game. Okay, so he's just kind of wandering around. He might drop down here. Come on. There's also boom shrooms. He jumped down. Come here, buddy. Okay, he should be one hit. There we go, nice. Very, very nice. So yeah, this is a little bit different from your regular Battle Royale, and it's brand new, and I kind of want to shed some light on this game because it doesn't have that many uh, players following the game. And uh, hopefully my submission to GoFusi will actually work, and I will be submitted and put on their 10 million sub channel shout out to uh, Yusuf thank you for that by the way and uh, I hope you're doing well man that being said um, let's get back into the game there's also a director into the game where he spectates people um, this is this is him talking it's hello hey what's up man how's it going pretty good how you doing good give me one second yeah sure um, as I was saying, there is proximity chat, so you can actually talk to people, especially the, uh, the director. This is him talking, so we're gonna have a little chat here. There's no one really near you right now. Oh, really? To your right. Yeah, to your right, there's one guy kind of close. Hmm. He's kind of on the edge of the, uh, the zone. I see. So, you got some time? I gotcha. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Anytime. I'll talk to you later. Alright. Peace. So the director can sway the game any way he wants. He has special powers to change the game or give players information, uh, kind of like he did, to the sway the game as well. There is many, many, many things about this game, such as electronics, which give you special powers, uh, upgrading your, your axe, your cloak, your speed boots to different things. You can change them. You can upgrade them. Also, there is a cold meter, which is why I built a fire, because you need to stay warm, obviously, from all the snow. There is a guy around here, he said. Let's go see where he is. Okay, so he's pretty much... So that's my speed boots upgraded, where it says plus speed boots. As you can see, I have three out of five, which gives me plus 5%. So I have 15% uh, speed than normal. Uh, which is pretty nice and I have you know my cloaks upgraded two out of five which gives me you know resistance to cold and stuff like that so very 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 interesting gameplay it's not your usual battle royale but hopefully you guys can kind of see how great this game is and I've been playing this for months and I can't stop playing it Hey, at all boys, we're actually gonna mute that real quick and again this is just the surface of what i'm talking about there's different mechanics like rolling the tile map alone itself 
is ever-changing so not one map is the same which is a good thing and a bad thing if you play competitively because you want a static map at least i do personally but if you're playing casually it's an amazing thing because you never get bored everything is completely different environment wise and that's what they kind of wanted to do with this game i understand it but if they ever implement a ranked games versus normal games then I think they should also put back the static map that they had before before they did the tile random generator we're gonna go ahead and hit this boom shroom it actually sends you flying uh, we're gonna track this guy where did you go bud there you are okay you're shooting at me okay he should be dead oh my gosh Come on now. Good hit. He's tracking me now with tracking arrows. And there's the kill through the trees. Um, also, another thing to note is trees are walk through. Uh, majority of them, anyways. There are some that are actually physical form. Uh, these are physical form. You can't, you can't actually walk through them. Thank you. I appreciate that. No prob, Bob. No prob, Bob. Okay. All right. So you got one guy in the same zone as you, and another guy in the southwest quadrant. All right. Sounds good. Peace. Thank you. So out of ten players, we've already killed two people. There's another two people left aside from me, which makes it three. Hopefully, we can kill them both and kind of just make interesting gameplay for you guys. Another thing uh, to mention is that the developers actually have made insane outfits. Um, for this game. Oh, and there's also a nuclear. This is the thing that I was talking about, where directors can actually sway the game into their liking, which means they can actually nuke a quadrant. So if that ever happens, you actually have to get out from the quadrant or you can die. Again, this is just another interesting thing that they, they can do with their powers. We should be in the clear here. And we are, nice. There's a guy near you there, so be careful. And this is what I meant about um, how the director can do basically anything he wants. Uh, I didn't mean to hit the megaphone again. But good luck, okay. everyone. Good hit. I hope you're having the game of your life. I hope you all go pro. And you remember me. Um, okay. Bye. Grab him. There we go. We got him. We got him. Good fight. Ray Bob is actually well known in the community. Good fight, good fight. Uh, and he's a very good player. Very good. Um, so shout out to Ray Bob. Your last enemy is in the middle zone. Cool. Just to let you know. Peace out. Good luck, man. Thank you. All right, so one player left, guys. Let's go ahead and make a few things here. So we're actually going to make another glider, some bear traps. I kind of want to show you everything that you can make. We're also going to make some runner cloaks. We're going to max that out basically so we don't run out of cold meter and if he, if he has snowballs he can't really do much about it so we're gonna go ahead and hit this boom shroom over here and kind of get a little bit closer to him he's most likely gonna go for the electronic in the middle there you go try to give you like a free electronic because i gave the other guy See, he's going to go for the electronic, so what we're going to do is we're going to go meet him halfway, and we're going to potentially kill him. Okay, so we're fairly close. There he is. What are you doing, bud? Oh, what? Oh my god, I was stuck in between the shield. That I've never had that happen. That's crazy. Um, so this is another power, another electronic that you can have. 
where you can just block a certain amount of space. Very useful. Let's go, boys. You got this. Oh, okay. Let's make it look good. There we oh, go. No, good game. Good game. <laughs> good fight, man. Oof. Guys, um, this is Darwin Project in a nutshell. Again, there's still a lot more things to actually notice about this game but hopefully we can get featured on GoFusi so we can show this game some love if you guys like this sort of video please give it a like if you want to see more hit that subscribe button and i will see you in the next video peace